Every time I look in my mind, I see that woman, a wonderful woman, and a free and woman, mother of nature. I know many that have gone through that hardship, that agony of looking for a baby. I was once a victim. Doctor says my husband can never give birth. But having faith in the Lord, it was made possible. So I believe that this track is going to be the blessing. No worries. How was it? How was it's so it? awesome. So awesome because I, I'm purpose to. I said to find for other countries and the Dutch, meaning the Dutch or French or Chinese or Korean. So I tried to blend so many countries. I have a song right in Lingala. Okay. And I'm so happy for the program. I'm so happy about the program, honestly. Because women, we are not supposed to be the one naked in ourselves on social media alone. But the woman, first woman pilot, first woman does, we should do exploits in our time. And the intent I'm going to say, Oba, Usu Uye, Usu Mbo Manyame, I say, to say, Achedia Manyame, you should make the best use of it. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. So I want to say a man, you be an A is a to me, you bet me, I was a young person, Nayan, and not never quiet. That's the same. Yes, I'm going to channel so anyhow. Yes, and I think as much as it was funny, it was learning. You would make your mistakes, someone will approach you, oh, we will you see a kibesi, we will you see a kibesi, and then you learn. It's a process. For me, I started planning my life from age 16. From age 16, I told myself that after SHS, I need to start working. And I had a company even before I completed SHS. 
Yes, I registered a company. And it was a friend of mine who gave me the money to do the registration. So whilst I was on campus, I was even doing gigs. So I would come to the house, do my gigs, and go back to school. I just had a knack for it. I, that was what I wanted to do. Then I started identifying people who could help me on that journey. So I was not just making friends for friends' sake. I was making friends at the right places so that I would not be a square peg looking for a round hole. It doesn't work like that. If you want to be like Ama, you should be looking for people in that line. You shouldn't be looking for doctors and friends. Oh, well, that's a way not call it, but are fine. But if you want to be in media, you need to hang around people with that experience, people with the connections, people who can help you. So with that, I started building myself, I started building my capacity. And I always say that going on TV3 for me was not by chance. It was preparation meeting an opportunity. At that time, I'll go to TV3, go hang out, because I was curious, I wanted to learn. After SHS, getting into your degrees and all of that, everybody's, oh, Charlie, oh, you're sharp, go and learn and get a PhD. But what is the essence of a PhD when there is no food on the table, when there is no money in that wallet? It's nonsense. So sometimes I tell people education is good, but you should know where to set your boundaries. Obit me go school, Sarah, go to my head, right? It's stupidity. You go to school, acquire the knowledge, implement the knowledge, make more money, and upgrade yourself. Yeah. Nobody ever said education is not good, but trust me, in Ghana, most of the people with money, and most of the people we call doctors, are people who have not been to the classroom. There's people who used abstinence and make sure it transcended here. They work with your hands. So you can have a great idea. If you are not able to let that idea move from your head to your hands and get into action, I'm sorry, you have it all wrong. Please, I hope those at the back here listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. because that's a lecture. Right? It's yourself, right? You don't just jump at anything. When I was trying to get my break in this industry, I think I had my first and biggest break from taxi driver. Yes, taxi driver was huge. I was on TV. I could have been okay with it. I could have been one of the best actresses in the country now. But I thought, no, this is not what I want. Yes, I love to act. Acting is a hobby. But what do I really want to do? Should I be okay with taxi driver or I should push and go for what I really wanted? So for most of my friends, when I left acting to do TV, they're like, oh, acting day is easy. But that was what they wanted. What I wanted was different. And when I got to TV3 for my interview, which I call a conversation, because my meeting at TV3 for Music Music was so funny, I walked into the room. It was actually Park with Siapo. We'd been working. So I was like, there's this niche I think you can do. And I'm like, what show? It's like, oh, it's your thing. You go. So I went into the room. I didn't even know it was an interview. And me and my normal self, I was just cracking jokes, we're laughing and everything. By the time we finished laughing, we were like, where can you start? I said, start what? He said, the job. I said, good job. He said, this was an interview. I said, I didn't know. So in life, you should always be prepared. And that, it was just about 10 minutes, but it taught me a lot of things. The conversation cut across. We spoke politics, we spoke religion, we spoke sports. So imagine I was very naive, and I didn't know anything. And coming back with someone, I said, John, no, I'm sorry. But even where I thought I did not have knowledge, I still engaged. I still engaged them. We, we had a very good convo for 10 minutes, and at the end of the day, I had a job. And I need every woman to understand that we never be comfortable where you are. As I saw here, I'm not comfortable. You might feel being a woman with the kind of position I have now, which is second in command to a media network, that is huge, you should be okay. But I'm sorry, I want more, because life is about growth. Where I was 10 years ago is not where I am now. 
And as I see you here today, in the next five years, I want to see something better of your lives. I want you to walk up to me and say, Oh, Stacy, do you remember me? Oh, you came to the um, at 30 and 30 and I was there. That is what I want. And as women wishing and hoping to be there, we should learn to carry other people along. I'm going to share a very big I'm going to share. I was going through something. I asked her something. I said, Mommy, why are people so mean? Then she said something. She said, You know what, sweetheart? In life, when you do good, do it and move on. It's not for the person to give you back that goodness. You don't do it for the person, you don't do it for yourself. You do it because it was good to do it. So as you move forward in life, someone else is going to pay it forward to you. So when you do good, move on. As you try to pull people along, as you try to climb on people, there are times those same feet are going to kick you in the face. There are times those same hands are going to slap you. There are times the people you hold close will be the people to spit on you. But what you do is you move forward. You move forward. No great woman has been great being loved by all. No great woman has been great without being hurt. Women, I'm saying this because as women, we're very emotional people. And sometimes something someone will do to you can actually stop you from opening your doors to others. By just behave like a teacher. You know when you're a teacher, every year you have new sets of students. You have the good ones, they are going up for no normal, you don't try zero. But you nurture them irrespective. So they move to the next class. And that is how every woman should be. Because as women, we are mothers. We are mothers. So we need to open ourselves up. We need to give out so much love even when we feel we are dying. It is very important. And as you hit your thirties, this is inevitable. You're going to choose that man or that man is going to choose you. Thanks for doing this. When I began this, I I looked for a lot of people. I called a lot of people, but some people didn't respond to me. But some of our mothers were glad when I brought this that if a girl at the dentist can do this, then we are ready to support her. So I'm very grateful to you anywhere you are growing up. When I was growing up, my dream was to become a business magnet. But it so happens that I come from a line of public servants. Even though my parents were professional doctors and they had their own facilities. But my father spent his extra time serving Central Region. He nurtured my sisters and I with that kind of mindset. So my older sister, who is an adjective, obviously you heard of her and how far she's gone currently. And then now my second sister is also in two. And then I am in two. It takes a certain character to serve this country. Because sometimes your reward is even worse than a teacher's reward. They say the teacher's reward is in heaven. The politician's reward, if you don't want to enrich yourself, is ingratitude. But you chose to serve. So I want to encourage you. If there's anyone amongst you who, by any stretch of the imagination, wants to consider a career in politics, you are most welcome. <laughs> Choose the NDC. <laughs> we are more development oriented. <laughs> Yes. We are more youth in mind. We give more opportunities to young people. When I was telling you about how early it was for me to get into management, the part that I left out was that it went that way because politics played a hand. Because if I had gone through the system as a public servant, 
Lord, I'm taking the 16 years I'm together. By the time, I'll probably be deputy director or something. But I have gone beyond all that. Because politics gives you a platform to serve and to do good for this country. So I wish you all the best in your journey through life. I ask that sometimes with the politicians, when we get some purpose, still be truthful to us, but also be also willing to forgive us. We are human just like all of you. The same things you go to, we go to them as well. We will face the country. When you vote for us, come to power. Thank you.
Oh, it is amazing. I mean, um, the, you can see from the crowd, say, we be in it, you know, they were cheering and everything. So it, it was positive. And then I put it in my but I say, um, yeah, what can say? Can say what men can do, women can do better. And um, I thank God so much. Say, um, and the best one, I'm going to go and do my job. I'm going to be Say, you compare um, our current, you know, activities to the previous uh, some years ago. Why it's more say there is much improvement when it comes to, you know, positioning. Why you know, say a shared um, parliament. And then by the man, you know, even Krapo, maybe a smooth, mecca, and not on the first, not memory, but you know, you know, it's more say a marble bridge, so it's very, very, very good. It's a 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 very, very good. Um, it's a subject that we always say, oh, women empowerment, women helping each other, and women are their own enemy here and there. But the thing we always forget is how powerful we are. And Kwame mentioned that. We always forget the fact that we are very powerful. A woman is in the essence of this world. Without a woman, there is no world because we bet the world. And for that matter, as a woman, you should always have that feeling of how powerful you are and make use of the power. Most of the time, we don't make use of the power that we have. I mean, even getting pregnant, giving birth, it's, it's a miracle that a man cannot go through, and that is the power of a woman. And so if you identify that you are very powerful, there is nothing that you cannot do. You would, I don't know. Let me use my, myself as an example. I've seen a lot. I may be small, but I am mighty in spirit. Yes. <laughs> yes, I've seen a lot. And so sometimes I laugh at certain things. There's a lot of pressure in the system right now because of social media. We are being pushed around to do things that we don't really want to do. But because we want to impress people, we are forced to do certain things, which is not really helping us as women. You um, anything up. And so at this moment, I would like to say this. Find yourself. I think all of us have spoken about finding yourself as a woman. If you do not find yourself as a woman, you fall prey to all these things that I mentioned. The pressure on the social media, trying to do things to impress people. And you forget about your own dream, your aspirations, who you want to be, you know, all of that. For me, I think I was down at the moment. But I up. I didn't ask anyone or I didn't get a call from anybody. But one moment I got up and I spoke to myself that listen, this is not where you want to be or this is not what I want to be. And so therefore, let me look for my dream. I would let family break me. I would let children hold me back of not achieving my dream. It's good to have children. It's good to marry. But don't let that draw you back. No. I think most of the time, a lot of women break down during, um, I mean, the time of marriage, giving birth, or taking care of children, they lose themselves. It's few women who are able to, you know, have a family and be strong, powerful, working, and achieving their dreams. A lot of women lose themselves. Once the children are there, you think that, oh, now I'm a mother, you don't even want to work on yourself and look good anymore, you think, oh, I'm sinning, or what else? But no. You are powerful than that. All you have to do is to speak to yourself. You don't need a tech party to tell you that, get up, go and do this, go and do that. The power in you is so strong that once you get up and tell yourself that, I can do this, you will do it. In fact, there is nothing impossible. It's not just for women, but there is nothing impossible in this world. Everything is possible. It is just a matter of telling yourself that I can do it. You see, we say